So the Sikorsky UH-60 Blackhawks had a long lifespan. It was first introduced back in 1974, and even though they cost more than $44 million each, more than 2,600 of them have been built to this day, uh, apparently back in May, top secret modified Blackhawks were used in the raid that killed Osama bin Laden. A uh, tail section with stealth and rotor modifications was found after a crew destroyed the aircraft when it was forced to land because of a malfunction. They apparently later escaped in a Chinook with Osama bin Laden's remains, and uh, it's the first the world's ever heard of this version of the Blackhawk, but its operational lifespan runs out until 2020 at least, so expect to see many more of them to come, and expect to see many RC versions of them. This is the silver lit Blackhawk Deluxe 27 MHz RC aircraft. Now this one is actually RC, so it can fly outside up to 50 to 100 yards away from you on a calm day. I took this one outside whenever the winds were about 3.9 miles per hour, and uh, let's take a look at how she handled. Now this aircraft retails for about 50 pounds, which is about 95 US dollars. Uh, you can pick it up online from Silverlit. I got this one from Flying Toys Limited. Um, it has a gyro on board, which keeps it stable on its own. Uh, you have control over its up, down, forward, reverse, and uh, spin left and right. And on a calm day, it's a lot of fun to take out in the garden and fly around. I had a lot of fun flying this one around and uh, was able to actually fight the uh, slight breeze that was out. Um, it wasn't too terribly windy, but I would say take it out whenever the wind's anywhere from 0 to 5 miles per hour and you should be okay. It's a very strong and uh, well-constructed uh, shell on this aircraft, so don't worry about crashing it. And, uh, you know, just fly over a nice soft grass area and you should be fine. Um, the aircraft does charge off the transmitter in about 30 minutes and you get about 7 minutes worth of flight time from it. And um, you can use the supplied USB uh, charger, which I strongly suggest using. This will uh, charge it also in about 30 minutes. You'll see a green light on the nose of the helicopter that'll turn off when it's done charging. As it is, it is a good RC aircraft for mid-grade RC pilots. Probably not the best one for the beginner, but definitely something for the more experienced uh, pilot to go out and fly around in the garden on the afternoon. So uh, I do appreciate you tuning in to RC 101 today with the Dallas Flyer. Thanks for watching and tune in for more fun aircraft videos.